This is a practice to help you heal and balance your root and sacral chakras. We start by uh, chanting three times Om Namo Gurudev Namo. After opening the practice, we go to the pose called Malasana. Malasana, also known as Garland Pose. Uh, it works closely with the pelvic floor. It increases the blood flow, helps activate and balance the hormones, and it strengthens the uterus, helps with sciatica, uni urinary issues, infertility, impotency, or constipation. Over time, this hope that this pose helps you uh, feel uh, more grounded and it helps you uh, with a calm mind. This further helps balance the chakras and level up energy, energy channels throughout your body. Uh, it helps with the hormones because once we start shifting our thought patterns, and we are in a more stable uh, and calm mind state. Uh, the the genes uh, in your body feel more uh, incongruence and imbalance, and they give the directions to your body to release hormones aligned with a relaxed uh, state of mind. It helps uh, with the resetting of your parasympathetic and sympathetic systems. We continue with the practice and just remember to breathe throughout. Try to release, let go and just go into the pose. Trust in your body. When you breathe, you tell your body that everything is all right. Visualize inhaling and receiving the energy from the top of your head that you need to continue with the practice. Now moving into Bada Konasana or butterfly pose. Um, this pose can help you with mild anxiety and depression. Um, also uh, helps with uh, opening the hips and with any pain that you may have in your lower back area uh, because it helps release energies accumulated in this area and, and this is the area where most of us accumulate stress and stagnant emotional energies. This pose helps with releasing 
all of these uh, energy, stress, and emotional uh, stagnant uh, movements, and it activates the energy flow to both your root chakra, also called the muladhara chakra, the sacral chakra, also called the svadhisthana chakra, and it helps getting the energy up up to the solar plexus. Again, it helps um, with moving energies that are stagnant in your body, and through this energy movement is that one can find balance and with awareness and discernment each one of us can uh, start to identify um, emotional patterns and automatic emotional reactions that are not conducive to your mental balance and peace of mind. Remembering that um, everybody's body is different and uh, you might not be as flexible to keep your legs as wide open and as low and closer to the floor. You can modify this pose by putting uh, blankets underneath your legs to support you and not feel as much uncomfortable feelings on your thighs. Uh, remember to breathe and the more, the, br the more you breathe, the more um, that you're going to bring energy to those muscles and can release and uh, maintain uh, the pose and just melt into the pose. Now moving on to the last um, pose, it's called Utkata Konasana. It helps us to balance both the feminine and the masculine energies. It helps us also to support and foster the balance of the lower two chakras, the root and sacral chakras. It is a very, very deep heap opener. It fosters uh, balance in this pelvic area because it requires substantial strength and balance. It is uh, strongly recommended to practice it only after having strong uh, hold of the previous two poses and always remembering that you should listen to your body. I will recommend that you start with uh, this practice and maybe with 20 to 30 minutes if you never tried it and keep building your strength and your balance up until the moment that you can sustain this practice for um, three minutes or so. After holding it for a little bit, we are going to shake our legs, stand the, stand the legs back, and now we're going to close our practice chanting three times Satnam. And to thank you for your time and attention, you can find me on Instagram in the link below.